Let's look at how to install the Postfix mail server on an Ubuntu Linux machine. So first of all, I have a machine right here and it is logged in and I'm logged in as root and I want to install Postfix. So the first thing I do is just do an app install Postfix. That will get it installed and then you will be able to then use it. Now, you're given this option right here in this wizard, and the options are no configuration, internet site, internet site with smart host, satellite system, and local only. So the only ones that make sense really for most people is the internet site or the local only. So we'll go ahead and go to internet site so we can actually receive mail. Now you decide, I'm on server.example.com. I decide, do I want to receive mail at just server.example.com or do I want to do example.com? And this is my mail server, but I'll just do example.com because I want to receive mail at example.com. You have to decide what you want to accept. You can change that later, but this is what you want to be known for, what you want to accept. All right. Once you do this, it will go ahead and make some configuration settings and it will be pretty much ready to go. Now, in order to receive mail, you need to uh, make sure that it's listening on the ports. If you need to, you need to restart the service. So we'll go ahead and check that. So if we do a uh, net stat, Minus full tuna. Um, first install that. Install net tools. And once net tools is there, you can use net stat and check to make sure that it is running. So I can see um, the mail server listens on port 25. You can see there's a TCP port 25 and it is listening on the local address of 0.0.0.0, .0, .0 which means it's listening on any interface and it receives all of it. It's also listening on the colon 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 25. So it's also listening for IPv6 mail. So both of those are in listening state. Now this is all you need to do in order to get the mail server up and going. Now what if you decide you, I don't know, when you're installing some mails, you install the mail server accidentally and you pick the wrong choice. Well, you can fix that with a dpkg reconfigure and then post fix. If you do dpackage reconfigure post fix, then you can make a new choice. It also allows you to do a lot more options in there. So it's a lot more of an advanced wizard. The first wizard was much easier. So I go ahead and cancel that, cancel, and no changes are there. If you wanted to, you can actually go mat modify the file directly to so nano etc post fix, and then main.cf. You can go ahead and take a look at the configuration. So in here, you can decide things like what you're receiving mail as and where you are listening. Um, so different things can be set in here. And so you can just kind of look through it. Um, right now it is saying that we are going to accept mail from example.com, server.example.com, localhost.example.com, and localhost, and also whatever the host name is, which just happens to be server.example.com. So there's just different things you can set in here. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and um, also the uh, interfaces right here, if you wanted to change this to just the local interface, you could change that right there. All right, let's go ahead and exit. Uh, it's running, so we're fine. But what if you want to actually read your mail? I like to use the Alpine mail client, so I'll do an apt install Alpine, Get the mail client up and going. And then I can send mail and receive mail and just check it and make sure it's working properly. So if I do Alpine and I can send mail to myself, E for exit, 
and then C for compose. And I'll do root. And you can see it tries sending it to root at example or root at server.example.com. And I do test one, test one, and then control X to send. And yes, I'll come with another one to root at example.com. Test two, test two, and control X to send that as well. Now I go ahead and quit. Yes, to quit. And I will notice it says that I have new mail in my var mail root. So if you look at the var mail directory, you'll see there'll be a file for each user and that's all their mail messages. You can actually look at the mail messages right here. Just count it out. And you see, okay, I've got these mail messages. I got test one, test two. And if I go back into Alpine again, and I go I for index, I can see I have two mail messages. The first one says it came from root at server.example.com. Going to root at server.example.com, I can press N for next. And you see this one was sent to root at example.com. I go and quit that. And you can check again the var mail directory. You can see the file is still there and you can count the contents and you see it has both of those messages. You can also delete the messages if you wanted to uh, by either deleting that file or using the program itself. Anyway, I hope that helps you with figuring out how to send your mail messages and how to set up that postfix mail server.